Our Sunday Spotlight shines today on America's Special Operations Forces. Their profile has soared since the takedown of Osama bin Laden. So has their standing in the Pentagon. The special ops budget is more than quadrupled since 9-11. Our team of experts is here to discuss the challenges these heroes face every day and how they fit into America's military future. But first, ABC's Bob Woodruff sat down with the man who endured one of the deadliest days in the history of the Navy SEALs, played by Mark Wahlberg in the gripping new film, Lone Survivor. The four SEALs were on a mission to track down Taliban leader Ahmed Shah. Mark Wahlberg plays the role of Petty Officer Marcus Luttrell in Lone Survivor. Senior Taliban commander was a tier one target. Ahmed Shah was right in your sight. Why didn't you shoot him? Was it because you were not getting an order? Right. Yes, sir. Why is it that there was no communication? Was it because where you're located? The area that we were in was so dense and the mountains that were rolling, it was just, comms were just intermittent, so we had to move up or down. The SEALs moved up the mountain where three goat herders literally stumbled upon them. A quick and crucial decision had to be made. Should the SEALs let the herders go, knowing they'd probably alert the enemy to their location, or should the SEALs kill three unarmed Afghanis? Not killing kids. We do what we have to do. What are the rules of engagement? Uh, I, uh, who knows? <laughs> you mean it just depends on where you are? You just yes, make sir. the decision yourself? There is an official protocol that was... But it changes. Dictated. I was shocked even yesterday finding out that while we have these rules of engagement that are constantly changing, nobody else does. Nobody else has to answer to any of that. With a vote, the SEALs let the herders go. They ran straight to the Taliban, to Shah's men. Within an hour, the SEALs were surrounded. I can you see this? Trell was gravely wounded. His three SEAL brothers, Danny Dietz, Matt Axelson, and Mike Murphy, were killed. The special operations chopper that flew in to rescue them was shot down. 19 U.S. service members were lost that day. For the film's director, Peter Berg, this is not about politics, it's about honor. I thought Marcus did an extraordinary job of, of giving me the opportunity to pay respect and acknowledge the sacrifice that these men are making. Where would you rate this movie in terms of all the movies you produced? Oh, it's by far the, the most satisfying film I've ever been involved with. Right at the top for me, too. It's the first time that it was, wasn't about me, it wasn't about my experience, it wasn't about me, uh, my growth as an actor, I just think about what Marcus and those guys went through. The story would not have been told without Mohammed Gulab, the local villager who saved and cared for Luttrell, refusing to hand him over to the Taliban despite death threats. It's definitely a blood debt. I mean, I owe him my life. People talk about honorable men. Um, that's honor. What he did, him risking his life and his village and his children to save a, a complete stranger. How do you do that? How do you do that? And I never was privileged to see, until I went to Afghanistan, that there are a lot of amazing people over there. They are also at war with the Taliban. Luttrell now has a two-year-old son, Axe, named after Matt Axelson. He doesn't know yet what he'll tell Axe about his experience. When he gets older and, and if he asks about it, and obviously we'll have a discussion about it with, with his mother and myself, and, and, and he's going to see it eventually, whether or not I want him to or not. Kids do that. I mean, I Yeah, I have the same issue with the boogie We were nice. just talking about it. <laughs> I probably face that situation. Yeah, I would have watched Boogie Nights first. Yeah. Yeah. Rules of engagement says we cannot touch them. This experience had a huge impact on me. And, you know, I am completely don't like war, but I love soldiers and I love what Marcus did. And I'm inspired by him to be a better man. Mohammed has inspired me to be a better man. I'm really glad that he did what he did so I could be sitting next to this man and be a part of telling the story of all those other guys that didn't come home. For this week, Bob Woodruff, ABC News, New York.